Florida's most popular attractions during the holidays and before Lily House opens to the public this weekend, RTV6's Jason Fechner got a sneak peek inside. Well, it is definitely beginning to look a lot like Christmas inside the Lily House right now. The decorators are putting the finishing touches on it right now ahead of Saturday's grand opening. And for the thousands who visit this year, they're going to get a big surprise. It's definitely a step back in time. Inside the 102 year old Lily House on Thursday, where the Lily family lived for generations, decorators and IMA staffers were hard at work decking the halls to get ready for the holidays and a whole lot of visitors. It's definitely a popular tradition, and we always try to make it uh, very festive and fun and a little bit different. So, our theme here this year is silver. All the decor here has a silver theme. So, you'll see things literally dripping in silver with tinsel, silver uh, ornaments, and so forth. And maybe the coolest decoration this year isn't anything inside, but rather out front. It's this, a 50-foot tall Christmas tree made entirely of toys. Very whimsical, fun element. It is a sculpture by an artist in Minnesota called Carl Unish. So we hope that a lot of people will come do family photo ops there. A potentially new tradition for the thousands set to visit here over the next few weeks. The holidays and history alive together at the IMA. Lily House opens to the public this Saturday and right now through the RTV6 app and at the IndyChannel.com. We've got details on that along with a photo gallery of what you can expect to see inside for yourself. Reporting outside the Lily House, Jason Fechner, RTV6. And that tree built from toys, which was really cool, actually lights up at night. They'll break it down before Christmas and then they're going to donate all those toys to local charities.